Hello everyone, um, I know it's been at least probably a week since my last video and uh, that's because I've been watching uh, the Halloween 3 special features and uh, I still have one commentary left to go so uh, um, hopefully I will have that to you guys by Friday or, or Thursday. Uh, today's, today I'm going to do Rob Zombie's Halloween and uh, as you can see it's the theatrical uh, poster, not the unrated cut, even though it is the, actually the unrated cut. You know, uh, it's the same special features as the unrated cut, except that there is no theatrical cut, which kind of does bother me, because the whole point of the complete collection is to have all versions of, of each film that's available. And to not have the theatrical cuts means that you're not having that version. Although, there are deleted scenes on here that have the theatrical cut scenes, so I guess it's a compromise. Uh, we do have the commentary by writer director Rob Zombie, we have deleted scenes and alternate ending with um, commentary, optional of course, bloopers, uh, the featurette, many faces of Michael Myers, reimagining Halloween, meet the cast, casting sessions, Scott Taylor, Compton, screen test. I would have actually liked to see all the screen tests. Especially Daniel Harris and Tyler Maine, if they had any. Uh, theatrical trailer. Uh, this too is the documentary Michael Lives, The Making of Halloween. Four and a half hours. Uh, and uh, essentially this is the same release as the previous Blu-ray. As well as the three disc uh, DVD set. Which I actually didn't get. Uh, the one I have is the two disc unrated version. So... You know, uh, so when I bought this, this, you know, when I got the collection, this was, uh, the second disc was something new for me. Although, the second disc basically, uh, kind of canceled out all the features on the first disc, because, uh, aside from the deleted scenes and, uh, the commentary and the alternate ending, we have pretty much everything that we need to know from a four and a half hour documentary. Uh, it, but it's a really good one. It, it's kind of one of those that flies by. You don't really realize how much you've watched. It feels so quick. Um, but it's 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 definitely one of the best. Uh, I do wish. I mean, I'll get to it when I get there. But I do wish they did the same for Halloween too. Uh, I mean, I know it's not a popular film, but you know, Rob Zombie obviously had love for this film to, for him to go ahead and do that. Uh, it's. I don't know why um, this does have. Uh, they didn't. Screen Factory and Anchor Bay did not author this disc. It was done by I believe Sony Pictures, Weinstein's, and uh, Miramax. And um, but you know because it's from the box set, you know they they give credit on here for uh, Screen Factory and Anchor Bay as well. So. Normally you would see it on the screen, uh, but I will do a cutaway, put this in, and you'll see it. But I did want to point out that this is from the first batch of releases, which shows you uh, the Region B, uh, I believe Australian cover art. But this is the Region A. It is Region A, but for some reason the label was Region B. But then of course you got the second disc, which is the... I would say that this is actually, I mean, I love this film. I actually do like this film a lot. Uh, but this disc is, this documentary is even better, in my opinion. Because it really does give you a look into what it is that you're watching. Uh, but I will go ahead and put the disc in. Okay. And uh, this is disc one. I'm just going to show you uh, both discs. I didn't do this with the others. Uh, mainly because they were pretty much the same as what you've seen before, but this is a uh, yeah, this is this one of uh, Rob Zombie's Halloween. The uh, loading screen. Uh, some of these, the, some of these Blu-rays have that loading screen. I'm not 100 understanding of, of it, but yeah, you know, as you can see, 
It's a uh, it's your standard one. Um, I actually like the the menu. It's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, the unlike the Screen Factory ones and the Anchor Bay one, the commentary is available on the special features menu, which I actually like that better. Yeah, and then of course we've got the lead scenes, ultimate ending, bloopers, the Manny Mask feature, reimagining Halloween, again, pointless, meet the cast, pointless, casting sessions, and Scott Taylor Compton, you know, uh, they're all pretty good. You know, um, oh, sorry, you know what, I was thinking about the other, the other DVD, I don't remember. Uh, the casting sessions actually does have Daniel Harris, uh, and as well as pretty much everybody. So, yeah, I will definitely be checking that out. So that is actually really cool. Um, the commentary is actually I, I really like the commentary. You can kind of tell that Rob Zombie uh, had a passion for it. He, you know, this was his this was his movie. You know. Um, Yes, he had to kind of tread over the John Carpenter stuff, but he really... You can see the love in the film, even if you don't like the movie, you can see the love in the film when it's not a John Carpenter part of it. Uh, like the beginning, uh, when he kills Judith, and then towards the end when you have uh, Jamie and, uh, and, and Annie and all them. You can see that he, there was more going into the Rob Zombie part of it than there was the remake portion. Yeah, so that is that is disc one, and this is disc two. It's pretty much similar, except obviously it's a whole, uh, you know, it's a whole other feature. I mean, this movie is twice as long as the main feature. What I also like though is that you actually see what they go through, uh, good and bad. You know, and I, I really like that. It's something that I first started to see in trauma films, and because uh, a lot of Hollywood is pat pat yourself on the back, you know, and, and that kind of can get a little annoying. So it is nice to see when things aren't always doesn't always, don't always go as planned. But this is the disc for uh, Rob Zombie's Halloween. The uh, my, Michael lives making up Halloween. So that's what you get here. You get a choice. You get you do get a choice of subtitles, and you get of course uh, there's third forty two chapters, and you get a choice of picking you know which one or play all. Which I don't see why anybody would choose to play days twenty six to thirty, unless of course you stopped off. You know so. Stop one day and then wanted to continue continue for the next. But so that is, uh, as I said, the documentary is incredible. Uh, this kind of goes back to when DVDs uh, really kind of began to, <coughs> to really began to uh, catch some stride with the behind the scenes stuff. Uh, you know, you had the X Men movies coming out with you know two hour documentaries and and so on and so forth. So this kind of brings you back to that this uh, type of documentary. I do wish that they would keep on because with the digital uh, w with the digital um, releases nowadays where you have uh, you know where you can easily just for ten dollars go ahead and buy it off of your Blu-ray player or your Xbox or whatever it is nice to have that incentive uh, that, that reason to go ahead and buy these these physical, except aside from someone like me who actually likes to hold it in their hand. For those who don't mind the digital, it's nice to have that extra oomph to to buy it. You know, commentary, the documentaries, the music videos, uh, and so on and so forth. So it is nice. But that is it for now. I will move on to Halloween 2.